We stay now in South America and welcome a leader whose commitment to democratic governance is extremely well known. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have His Excellency, the former President of Bolivia, Jorge Fernando Tuta Quiroga Ramirez. Welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon, uh, Madam Mariam Rajavi, people, friends of the NCRI, former leaders, parliamentarians, and to all the future leaders, parliamentarians, and presidents of a free Iran in the back, I salute you from here. <laughs> Madam Rajavi, you know very well that uh, I come here because I have learned that in parts of my region, in your country, the issue is not left against right, like perhaps it is today in France or on next Thursday in the United Kingdom. The issue is not that in our parts of the world, in the Pirates of the Caribbean, Venezuela, Cuba, Nicaragua, that is not the issue. The issue is them or us. They are for tyranny. We are for liberty. They are for autocracy. We are for democracy. They are for one man rule forever. It's always a man. It's never a woman. We are for rule of law with alternation in power. We, they are for oppression and muscling the, the free press. We are for freedom, including that of the press. And they are very good at managing and articulating and leveraging amiable appeasers in the Western world. We want committed, consistent partners like many of the ones you've invited here to always be on the side of freedom and liberty for Iran, for Venezuela, and for every country in the world. And I've learned a long time ago that we are facing the octopuses, the octopuses of the Niners. I like octopus and the salad. I do not like tyrannical octopuses with tentacles that strangle democracy, particularly the Niners. If you look at the history of the world, Cuba, the Castros, 59. Iran, the Ayatollah, 79. Putin, Russia, 99. Chavismo, Venezuela, 99. And they are global octopuses whose tentacles reach, interweave, and interact with each other. They do coordinate. They do help out each other, and we very seldom help each other on the struggle for freedom against these octopuses that we have to uh, fight against. And I've seen it in my country. 30 years ago, July 18, 1994, the biggest terrorism attack took place in South America, AMIA, Buenos Aires, Argentina. 84 dead, six Bolivians. Who was the mastermind? Bahidi. Where is he from? Iran, the minister. He paraded around my country in 2011, and nothing happened uh, to him while he was parading there. Who comes to Venezuela, Cuba, Nicaragua last year? Raisi. Who comes to Venezuela, Cuba, Nicaragua, Lavrov, twice, to coordinate and see what they can do together? So the issue that I want to focus in July, the world's attention, and I realize there's too many other things happening, are Iran and Venezuela. Two countries that used to be oil powers, mired in high inflation, massive corruption, economies that have been destroyed, criminal conglomerates that create political prisoners, that murder people, that exile people, and they do extraterritorial assassination attempts, like they tried with Vidal Cuadras in Spain, like they just did with Ojeda in Chile. A military from Venezuela in Santiago, Chile, was pulled out of a room, spliced into little pieces, put on a suitcase, and buried a meter and a half under cement in Santiago, Chile. The, the, the terror ships coordinate. They share their techniques. They learn from each other, and they do the exact same thing. And they even have proxies. Everybody talks about the horrible ages. Hamas, Houthis, Hezbollah. We see them in Latin America. In Latin America, we're talking about Tren de Aragua, the criminal proxies that Venezuela is starting to export as well. And we know all about the appeasement. In Venezuela, we have seen hostages being swapped for criminals like you have in Iran, so the, the techniques are all the same. 
I'll close with two points on Iran and, and Venezuela. It pains me, Madam Rajavi, when I hear election, no matter how you qualify, sham, fraudulent election, no, no. That is a charade and a masquerade. It does not deserve the word, the word theocracy and election do not go together. If in a row here there's 10 people and one is dancing and nine are sleeping, that is not an electoral festivity when a little more than 10% of the people are voting. You cannot call any, that anything except a dictatorial designation, an autocratic appointment. That is what is taking place. And the press always likes to find out who's the bad guy, who's the good guy, who's Real Madrid, who's Bayern Munich, who's the uh, conservative, who's the reformist. Finding a reformist approved by the theocracy in Iran is like finding a Catholic nun in a drug cartel in Latin America. It does not exist. You will never find it. I'll cl close with Venezuela. Venezuela, Madam Rajavi, July 28th, we have elections. We were supposed to run a woman, Maria Corina Machado. We had to register a substitute. We're down now to the substitute of the substitute of the one that should have been running. But no matter what, there is a chance to regain democracy in the land of the liberator Boliv Bolivar and free it from the pernicious influences of Cuba, Russia, Iran, FARC, Hamas, Hezbollah. Make it export energy, not people, not re-export cocaine, and make it a beacon of democracy like it was. We do have the opportunity. And what's common between I Iran and Venezuela is that we have organized opposition in Venezuela like you have in Iran. You have a 10-point plan. Maria Corina Machado has the plan that's called Tierra de Gracia, Land of Grace, what Christopher Colombo said when he touched foot on, uh, on Venezuela. And we have something else that is exceptional. Two women engineers that are leading the movement. And their names are Mariam, Mariam and Maria Machado. So let's hear it for Mariam and Maria Corina Machado, two women leaders that can take these countries together. And I thank you for this opportunity to all the friends from Ukraine. Slava Ukraini, Heroyan Slava. Women, life, freedom for Iran. Glory to the brave people of Venezuela. And there is a soap opera in Spanish. It's called Dos Mujeres, Un Camino. Two women, one pathway. Look out in July and keep your, eye, your eyes on Mariam Rajavi, Maria Corina Machado. It will be two women, one destiny. Freedom for Iran, freedom for Venezuela. Thank you.